Hello everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to use the new skin modifier tool which was made by Nicholas Bishop. So let's get right to it. We're going to want to delete the main cube here. Shift A, add mesh plane. We're then going to subdivide the cube, the plane, with a W. And we're going to want to make it like a plus sign shape. We're going to delete these vertices here. And we're going to add a mirror modifier. And then we will add the skin modifier. And there you go. As you can see, it generates a mesh around the vertices. It's similar to how Z spheres work, I guess. Uh, to make it look more organic, we're just going to add a subsurf modifier. There we go. And that's about it. Now we're going to. The way this works is that uh, you have to select a root, a vertex root, from which the whole mesh is generated from. Uh, this is like the hip joint, so the main uh, pivot point of your whole mesh. So we're just going to select this as the hip point, the um, root. And that's it. And now you can just start extruding and do whatever you want. Uh, I'm doing a very simple mesh. Don't address it. So I'm just making a very simple silhouette, a uh, bird silhouette. Um, what you can do also is, uh, is that there's branch smoothing. This is to tighten it up closer to the vertex or not. Usually I stick to zero. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you find a use for one. Symmetry axis it works the same way as the mirror modifier. Like, you know, it's but specifically for topology reasons, as the polygon can go wrong. There is smooth shading down here, and flat shading. Another thing is the not too useful Mark Lewis option. You select a vertex that has branches coming off of it, and it will form flaps between the other uh, vertices coming out of it. However, if you extrude, it will not form a flap between that. Not too useful, since you can vertically scale things, but the option is there. If you want to uh, Undo this, change this, you just select the vertex which you click mark loose on before, and then just click clear loose. Now one thing you also can do is scaling. So I'm just gonna click control A. Um someone. Yes, control A. And just drag. And there you go. And uh, that's basically how you're going to be using this tool a lot. You're going to be extruding and scaling. And you can create very good organic shapes. I'm going to create the wings of a bird right now. There we go. It doesn't look like a wing yet, but we're going to, I'm going to show you how to, uh, just how to make them. You click Control A again. We're going to scale that up. And then I'm going to click Control A X. This is to make it uh, vertically flat, but or Y to make it horizontally flat. And this is the way it works. And uh, now we have a pretty decent wing shape, at least for a silhouette. And that's basically how you're going to be modeling with the skin modifier. Something that will likely occur when you're experimenting with this is that uh, if you extrude from the, the same vertex point uh, multiple times, you will not be able to get a perfect uh, mesh with good topology. It'll just clip. So to avoid that, just make sure we're at a good enough distance from each other. Now that we have uh, the base mesh done, I'm pretty satisfied with it. So we're going to start actually applying the we're going to apply the mirror modifier and we're going to create an armature and this is already rigged if you uh, go to if you apply the skin modifier again and uh, let's just go to smooth shading quickly apply it and uh, then go to pose mode on the armature uh, you'll see it works pretty well however uh, it, errors have been known to happen so I'm just going to show you a quick fix for that just go back to your mesh remove this armature modifier uh, so why, with your mesh selected, select the armature, and then just apply automatic weights. And there you go. And it should work just fine. I mean, in every case, I've, in every test I've done, it's worked 100%. And there you go. You have a rigged mesh. And now you can go ahead and edit it as much as you like. This is a great tool for prototyping. I've been using I've been using it for so like three D concept art of sketching, seeing how certain things work in three D or not. It's a great tool. And something else you can do, if you are interested in trying it out, is also sculpting. 
uh, this is a base, base mesh tool. It'll also be, uh, with the topology is created, it's perfectly suitable for sculpting. So that's basically it. That's how to use the skin modifier tool. It's ve a very flexible tool. It's a very quick tool. Um, I've been creating, I've been using this tool since it came out in 2.56. Uh, I think the updates that have been made really make it a much stronger tool. Uh, there will not be updates until 2.64. This is the version that was sent to uh, for code review. So until 2.64 is released, there will not be any new features. But as it is, it's a solid tool. Give it a go. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you create from this.